Okay, so this is the uh, Netgear Arlo HD security camera and the reason why I bought this is because apparently it's the only 100% wire free uh, CCTV system. You've got these three cameras, so I bought the three set, you can buy the two set uh, and the one set, but these cameras apparently can give up to six months of um, um, battery life. Um, so they can, as you can see, completely wireless. And the magnetic and it should stick onto the wall. I'm just going to unbox this thing and have a look inside. So this is one of the cameras. Um, what's the ca this is camera lens. I pre presume these are some of the sensors. Um, got the standard uh, camera holder. I suspect this is where I suspect this is where you put the batteries. Yep. Yeah, battery, battery slot. There's a sync button here. Now let's have a look in the box. It's a set of instructions. A quick start guide. So uh, some stickers. Maybe you stick them outside so to deter burglars. Quick start guide. Okay, one box and two box. Nothing else in there. The side. Let's open this one first. It's upside down. Okay, so I've got standard network cable, some screws, so I could fit this on the mounts to the walls, three screws, power, that's um, Japanese, but luckily I can see there's a three pin a UK socket here as well, also the European one, so power supplies. And then I presume this one is going to be the main router. Okay, yep. Quite a hefty um, router. Quite a light, doesn't weigh much at all. Um, that will need be to be installed by my internet connection. And now basically in batteries four eight twelve batteries and uh, oh these are the um, the mounts so uh, I read about these it's um, metal ball and it's magnetic see there's a little uh, dip here a little a little notch where you can put and you can once you mounted this onto the wall you can rotate it and, you know it's, the magnet's pretty strong actually look it's pretty rock solid so the idea would be to fit this onto the wall and then you can fit your camera just up mounting as, as you like um, the thing about this system just put this to the side just see if there's any more information about um, the unit here um, you can access it it's uh, compatible with uh, Google Play the Android device Kindle or the App Store I've got a uh, an iPhone, so I'll be using the iPhone. No calls, no wires, no worries, it says. Um, let's see the English, what does it say? English isn't here. Um, it's 100% wire free, no wires, there's night vision, motion alerts, it's waterproof, so uh, each of these 
units you can have indoors or outdoors completely um, um, fine if it's raining or windy not a problem free cloud storage and 720p live video um, what I what I'm particularly interested is in the battery life so apparently each one of these um, lasts around six months um, and the way that it does this is because you don't have audio and there isn't a, um, a proper live feed apparently but for me you know I just want to have a few when we go on holidays mount these on the wall and just to be able to um, to access uh, from um, an internet connection um, see the, and, and, and see what's happening at home so I'm just going to um, install this system and I will post a further review so go to the app store app store let's search for Arlo Right, that looks like it. So, um, get install. Oh, that's pretty quick. Right, open. So that's it. Send notifications. Yes. Okay. I need a new. I need to set this thing up. So I'm going to do that later. But I'm going to just follow through the rest of the instructions. Connect your base station to the internet. Um, connect power. Turn the base station on by pressing the on off button. Uh, power the LEDs and internet on the front of the base station. Get an account. Follow the instructions. And so the batteries sync. Okay, so it seems quite straightforward. Let's, uh, let's go give this a go. Let's uh, install one of these first. So there's a little notch to unlock and then you uh, push a slide it forward to release. Yep, like, like so. Um, let's uh, grab. So each one of these takes four batteries. Um, Okay, and it's um, and if you look inside, it tells you which way to install these. So it goes up this way. That goes up this way, like so, and like so. Close that. Okay, there's a. Sort of flashing uh, light just now. Okay. Uh, now we're going to plug this thing in. All right. Okay. So um, just going to plug this thing in. Plug into the power. Work. Okay, well, I just use an existing one. I'm just gonna test it. Plug that in. Press the on-off switch. Okay, see the um, LED lights. I'll take this protective covering off. So we are. What it says is to wait for the um, LEDs to, to turn to go to blue. Two here. No. Oh. Hit the sync button. And then the sync button on these two. Ah, right. I can see the flashing green button on the Netgear router now. These are still flashing. These two, this one and this one. 
Right, okay, now that's, that's pretty cool. Now I'm seeing, I'm seeing that green light on that, and uh, this has popped up. Um, right, so here's, so let's click stream one camera. Let's see what happens. Okay, see my, oh my gosh. Look at my stomach. And you can see my camera that's filming on this as well. So, which camera is it? Right, it's this one. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the sync button again. Hit this sync button on this camera. Get this one uh, synchronized as well. That's flashing and this is flashing and hopefully it'll somehow pop up on the phone. That's blinking away, which is what the last one did. Looking promising. Okay, here we are, getting status. Okay, here we are. So, uh, so I'm pointing this one at my face at the moment, so you should see that pop up. There you are. So, right, once you've um, got your app installed, got the account logged in with the account and set up the cameras, every time you log into Arlo, you will see the camera set up. So, my three cameras are now set up. From here you can um, click on live and you can see um, a live feed from the camera. So I'll just give that a few seconds. Uh, it's, uh, it has an automatic uh, night select, daylight select. Um, at the moment it's quite dark in the hallway. So it's dark as you can see, but you can still see. Um, and if, you've, if, if anything is there, it will move. <coughs> Right, so when it's on live feed, uh, you can take a picture, click on that button. Uh, you can adjust the brightness and everything else. Uh, you can record, so you can actually record footage of what's going on. And uh, you can expand the screen, so you can click on that. You can rotate it to get a larger display. Um, here you can see on the top left, um, I've put ground floor entrance. You can customize that so you can write whatever you want. Um, the little person that's grayed out that shows if there's if it detects any uh, movement. There's nothing there at the moment, so we're not seeing that. The middle one is uh, Wi-Fi. How strong is the Wi-Fi signal? So I've got four bars there, not a problem. And the third one is battery life in the camera. So you can see that is uh, it's still quite high. So I'm going to go back now and look at the other features. So here um, I've got a library. It's when I, where I click to record. You can see uh, footage. It saves it onto the cloud, um, so it's always available. You can simply click, click on play, and you can see uh, what you recorded. And the, the other thing that's quite nice is you can select a date, so you can you can go and have a look at months. You know, go back in time and see. Um, the footage that was captured on a particular day. You go to mode. This is where uh, you can turn the, um, the the motion detection and capturing on and off. So at the moment, because I'm at home, I've disarmed it. But you can turn it on, or you can do a schedule. A schedule allows you to de de you know, decide when you want the recording to happen. So you can click on the, the button there. Gives you some information, and uh, you can see that I've I've got some. Um, some set up. Um, so during those times, I've got the, um, the Arlo system to arm itself, and, and the other times it hasn't. So do that. Settings here. That's this is where you can change um, the name of the cameras. You've got you can have a grant. You can grant other people access here as well. Um, you've got the basics, you know, you get this for free, the basic subscription, which allows you to connect up to four cameras and have a, um, a limited amount of uh, on-cloud storage. Um, it's quite generous already, so you don't need, I don't feel that I need it, but you can buy more from this screen um, to add additional cameras if you want more than four or if you want um, 
uh, more storage space as well so you, you got other bits and pieces in here as well so you can have a look at that and that's it so it, it is a really good setup battery life is absolutely amazing